Hey guys, Ninja TV guy here, and I'm back making a fit another video on a TV in my collection. So this is my 1980 Panasonic Quintrilux 2 solid state color TV. It's got about an 11-inch screen. I picked this up for $10 at a tag sale. I was actually at a tag sale. The guy didn't have this out, and I was going to buy rabbit ear antennas. He asked me. Why do you want these rabbit ear antennas? I said, oh, I collect old TVs. And he says, oh, well, hold that thought. And then he walked away and came out with this. It was filthy before. It's covered in, like, I, I don't know. Somebody smoked around it. The whole thing smells like the inside of an ashtray. But, hey, $10 for TV. Sense of course. And vitamin C, too. Can't go wrong. I like giving Kathy what my mom gave me. Kool-Aid brand soft drink mix and your sugar. You loved it as a kid. You yeah, I just got it on UHF. Picking up signals. So the thing I have in, in here, I hate having wires. It's nothing but an annoying thing. So I have a picture coming in over the air over the antenna. Look, if I touch the antenna, you get interference. Anyway. So here's all the controls. Color, tint, pan, or pan bright, brightness, tint, color, push QT, what does it do? I don't know. Makes it boring. And then the auto fine tuning. Is that on? That nah, doesn't look like auto fine tuning. Whatever. Here's the back. This thing, I feel like, runs kind of hot. Oh, uh, and you might be wondering, what's this plugged into? It's plugged into a... <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. It's plugged into a PS3. In case I decide, hey, one day I want to have some different videos playing on it. I would take it off and show it off more, but... I'm just too sick to do anything but just hold a phone and walk around. A nice car on there with a little Dragon Ball character. If you want me to make an actual video where I go in depth with these TVs, or this TV particularly, or any TV of mine, try to comment. I'll take it down off the shelf, open it up, show the insides. That's it. Bye.